dam in the city. Going to explore some interesting places here. Tianzifang, an old part of the old city of Shanghai, with narrow lanes and old types of buildings. I believe these buildings are called Shikuban. It's very, very commercialized these days, but I mean, people got to make money somehow, huh? The buildings at least are pretty authentic. I know there are other areas near here where the buildings have largely been destroyed to make way for modern replicas of Shukuma. Some people don't like those ones as much. Whether you like all this touristy commercialism is obviously very much a matter of personal opinion. But it's, an, but it's a famous part of Shanghai, so I thought it would definitely be worth a visit, no matter what. We're getting closer to the central point, so it's just going to get more and more crowded as we go through this area. Quite some impressive wares here. Oh, and Mao Zedong. Cool. Wow. Not sure what's with a flamingo in a bathtub, but I'll take it. Works for me. Definitely some interesting stone buildings. Whatever you're going to say about what's in them now. I do find the buildings really interesting here. Clothing here. All the signs. Kind of reminds me of walking down the streets in Kowloon just because of all the signs. Kowloon in Hong Kong, that is, for those who might not be familiar with that. Really narrow through here. That is very literally translated, and I am not sure what it actually means. I will try to find out. That's interesting. Modern Apple computer right in the middle of these uh, old shops. <laughs> I'm not causing any trouble. There's a security guard up there. <laughs> ah, jewel. lanterns here. Very much not traditional Chinese lanterns. Maybe meant to be a bit more artsy instead.
of all this touristy stuff it is perhaps worth noting that this is actually a residential area so they do warn you if you go past a certain area to try to keep it down a bit. Tenzifang isn't big so I'm actually already pretty much done looking at it now and now I'm gonna head for another area in this same part of the city. How fun! Hanging umbrellas! Check this out, <coughs> a brick church, right here in the middle of Shanghai. Yes, there are churches here in China. They have some restrictions, like they need to be registered with the government, but they exist. This one is certainly registered with the government, or it wouldn't be able to be here so openly like this. Apparently the church's name is All Saints Church. It appears to be a Protestant church from the names here. They would use a different word for a Catholic. And when I said there are some other places with more modern buildings that have replaced the old traditional ones, this is the place I was really talking about. This is Xintian Di, not too far from Tian Sifa. You can see that these are not quite such old, authentic buildings. Much broader walkways here. Much more comfortable walking here. But if that area seemed a bit touristy, this place seems over the top touristy. Luxury brands here. And a Shake Shack here. a little bit more, I don't know, charming. Go much this way though, and you're already leaving these at least authentic-ish buildings. getting toward a big shopping center over here. There's folks who really like Xin Tian Di for all the luxury shopping and dining it provides. And people who really can't stand it. People who really find the new buildings quite an ersatz good compared to the old ones that were here that it replaced. Do we pronounce that word ersatz in English? It's originally a German word, so I always find myself pronouncing it as ox, but I really don't know how we normally say it in English. Interestingly, the back alleys here in Xintian Di are fairly empty, a lot more so than I found in Tenzifan.
One Shintian D. Private clubhouse. <laughs> Not sure what's with the clove shaped lamps, but okay, or lanterns, I guess you'd call them. But hey, whatever. Yeah, everyone didn't like it. Yeah, <laughs> Plenty of bright neon lights through here. There's the name again. Shintian D. Check this out, we got a double decker tour bus coming by here. Looks like this is a stop for them. Got some people on the open upper deck there. Wow, those are some bright lights there. With that, I'll be leaving Shintian Di and continuing my wandering through this area of Shanghai.